Good afternoon from beautiful sunny Sydney again. They've put on a good weather weekend. Seems to be a good recurring theme. Sundays are really quite nice, at least for part of the day. It was bucketing down this morning, um, but now how really nice. So a little bit of cloud off in the distance up there. Hopefully it shouldn't affect me. I'm out here today doing my long run. Well, actually right now, just sort of halfway through my long run, having a little bit of a break. I've been suffering a little bit of Achilles tendonitis in the last week, over this last week. Ever since my intense run that I did on Tuesday, um, after that, my Achilles felt a little bit tender, um, which is a bit of a warning for anyone out there who's especially running minimalist style footwear. But other, in any shoes, really, if you start to feel a bit of pain or bruising sort of feeling or tenderness, um, especially when you're not flexing your Achilles, if you just leaving it limp and you start to touch it and it feels a little bit tender, then you may be getting the beginnings of a bit of Achilles tendonitis and that's a sign to kind of back off a little bit. If you're training for something, of course, you don't want to back off 100%. Doing like a, a low intensity style run, uh, it's not too bad. Um, it's maybe back off the higher intensity runs or do them on softer surfaces or something like that. Something that will ease your Achilles a little bit. Just let it heal. And then also I've got a video where I've detailed um, sort of what you should do if you're starting to feel a little bit of Achilles tendonitis. Uh, I'll leave a link to that at the end of this video and up in one of the corners. You'll see in a second. Um, and that video goes through a few exercises that I was given last year uh, when I was training for the marathon and I was going a little bit too fast too soon. So there is uh, eccentrically loaded heel raises or heel drops. There's about a thousand different names for it. Um, those ones are probably the best thing you can do. So that is where you raise up onto your toes and then back down. You go up for four seconds, hold for two, down for four. Up for four seconds, down, hold for two, down for four. And just repeat that 10 times each leg. Um, another thing, of course, is foam rolling. So roll out those calf muscles, get rid of all the knots and everything that's inside there. Foam rolling is one of the best things you can do um, in terms of injury prevention and injury treatment. So I need to do a lot more of foam rolling myself. I haven't been doing nearly enough. And on the topic of eccentrically loaded heel raises and calf raises or whatever you want to call them, uh, back in 2017 when I was running the marathon and I did a lot of run training, it was a lot of low intensity training. So I wasn't doing much in the way of high intensity like I'm doing at the moment, which may be one of the reasons why I didn't get any sort of Achilles tendonitis back then. But also what I was doing back then, I was going to the gym quite a bit and using um, the squat machine. So not the squat rack, but the squat machine. Uh, so you put your toe on sort of a big metal plate and you sort of at a 45 degree angle. And instead of putting your whole foot on the plate, you just put your toe on the plate and you can do eccentrically loaded heel raises and drops on that. And I was doing that quite a bit in 2017. So I was probably, that was probably one of the reasons why I didn't get um, Achilles tendonitis back in 2017 when I was running and set the Guinness World Record title for the fastest marathon run in a Kung Fu uniform. Whereas last year in 2019, I didn't do that and I got Achilles tendonitis. So now that I'm aiming once again to run that marathon and trying to run as much as I can in minimalist style footwear, I'm going to be incorporating a lot more in the way of eccentrically loaded calf raises, drops um, into my training. So going to the gym, I've been going to the gym lately, as you saw last week, the gyms are open. And I've been using that machine almost every time that I go there, which is maybe every couple of days or every few days, so every two to three days. And I think that's been helping. Additionally, I'm doing other eccentrically loaded calf raises and heel raises at home and whenever I can. You want to try and if you're getting symptoms of Achilles tendonitis, you wanna try and do that maybe once a day, um, or even up to twice a day. Uh, but I'm not a health professional, I'm not a podiatrist, I'm not a physiotherapist. So if you are getting um, Achilles tendonitis issues, the best bet for you 
is to go and see a physiotherapist or a podiatrist and they will be able to help you out with exercises of how to overcome it, how to treat it and how to prevent it from happening in future. Definitely recommend going and seeing a specialist. It is a bit of a weird treatment to think that doing strength exercises will actually help heal an Achilles tendon, but it works. It really does work and even as a like a quick solution, it works. Another thing you can do instead of doing a lot of intense running is to do a bit more in the way of intense cycling or other exercises which are high intensity, so they're gonna push your VO2 max, but they aren't as intense on whatever the tendons or muscles are that are feeling the pain at the time. So just pay attention, always pay attention to your body, listen to your body, listen to how you land. You don't wanna to land too heavy. Maybe the Achilles tendonitis is telling you that you're landing a bit too heavy, or maybe that you're doing too much in the way of toe striking and not letting your heel kiss the ground. It, everything means something. So listen to everything. So I have been doing intense cycling anyway, but I think I'll be doing that a bit more um, so that I can keep up with my intensity style workouts while not damaging my feet and Achilles, hopefully. And I know that I should be going out and maybe doing swimming. Um, it's a very low intensity exercise. It's great for all parts of your body, especially your upper body. I've just never been much of a fan of swimming. And at the moment, the pools, they're still only by booking only. So you've got to book a specific 45 minute time slot, and then you've got a single lane throughout that entire time slot. So it's just a bit annoying for me and it's not encouraging for me to get back into swimming, though I really do need to. And as I said, I have been getting back into the gym, so I've been doing my swimming alternative workouts. So your pull downs, those sorts of pull downs, all the different exercises, which kind of use the same or similar muscle groups and is still in a way building your body up so that when you do go into the pool um, or when you do jump into the water or whatever, you've got those muscle groups and they're sort of semi ready for action. Another thing that I think has a significant bearing on all of this is body weight. So at the moment, I've still got quite a few extra kilos on and I'm kind of trying to get rid of it, but also not probably trying hard enough. So I need to be a bit better in that respect to try and shed a few of my kilos. I'm still at about 77 kilos. I want to be at like 62 kilos. So really I'm about 15 kilos heavier than I wanna be. And that's why I've got the, as of last week, I got the uh, Garmin Index Smart Scale, which helps me track my weight over time automatically. Cause I, by myself, I just don't do it. I, I weigh myself, I've got a pair of scales in my bathroom, but I just never actually put it into any sort of tracking thing. So being able to track it properly and automatically, so being able to track it automatically where it, you just stand on it in the morning and it automatically sends it straight to your account. That is excellent. And I've only been using it for a week so far, so I don't really have much in the way of um, thoughts on it yet, but so far, so good. I haven't had any issues so far. So this week, uh, really nice and easy one actually. It's a rest week for me, luckily. Um, I did go out and do a pretty intense run on the Tuesday, which is why I've been getting that little bit of Achilles tendonitis. Um, and also been feeling a little bit of my fat pad impingement syndrome. I believe it's fat pad impingement syndrome. I still need to see a physiotherapist about that. As I mentioned before, if you've got any sort of niggles or injuries, really good idea to go out and see a physiotherapist. And now just a quick little plug for uh, my run towards the end of the year, which I really hope is going ahead. Um, the Cedar to Surf, which was delayed from August to October. Um, I run it every year and I've signed up as a charity superstar for 2020. As far as I know, it's all still going ahead. We'll see as we go. Um, but I would very much appreciate if you've got a spare couple of dollars to go across to my donation page. I will leave a link in the description box below. Otherwise you can go to donate2will.com um, and donate to my cause. I'm running on behalf of Australian Cancer Research Foundation, which 
uh, helps with funding into all sorts of different cancers. And I'm running for them, for this charity, because back in 2017, um, my Kung Fu Sifu passed away from mantle cell lymphoma, unfortunately. And so as a bit of a memory to him, I'm running in support of the Australian Cancer Research Foundation. And I'm running in my single person lion dance costume, which you've seen me running in the last couple of years. It is a really fun costume to run in. You get so many high fives and unfortunately people who call you a dragon, not a dragon, it's a lion, whatever. Yeah, the whole idea is if you can, please head down to that link and donate whatever you've got. Um, it is all appreciated and it's all going to look into the prevention and treatment of various types of cancers. That about does it for me this week. I've got to get back to my last 25 minutes of my run. Thanks for watching. If you want more swim, bike, or run and exercise content every week from here in Australia, then hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.